Stop the presses, stop the internet, stop absolutely everything. Bugatti has released a follow-up to the legendary Veyron. Meet Chiron. Here are the numbers. 0-62 takes less than 2.5 seconds. 0-124 takes less than 6.5 seconds. Its top speed is limited for road use at 261 miles an hour, though it can go faster given the right Bugatti training and what have you. Very, very special circumstances. Now, weight-wise, it's just shy of two tons. Because it's got so much power, it's actually good for 741 brake per tonne. Now, when its predecessor, the Veyron, launched in 2005, it instantly became the world's fastest production car. Here's what made it so special. In 2005, Bugatti revealed the Veyron, the fastest production car in the world. It would do 0 to 62 in two and a half seconds, and its top speed was in excess of 250 miles an hour. It was something else. It managed all of that using an 8-litre 16-cylinder quad-turbo engine that boasted a shade over a thousand horsepower. That, however, wasn't fast enough for Bugatti. Later in the car's life, a 1200 horsepower variant appeared. It was faster, quicker, and a bit more orange. The Super Sport and Grand Sport Vitesse were quite something, world speed record holders as well. They are masterworks of engineering. Cooling, braking, tyre, suspension, and pretty much every other slice of technology had to be thought and rethought out to make sure the thing would move. To be blunt, the Veyron was awesome. Now the Veyron is a thing of the past, the Chiron has taken its fastest car ever thing and run with it very quickly to the hills. And like the Veyron, it's surprisingly small. Chiron is slightly larger than Veyron, but still, considering the punch it packs, it's pretty tiny. To create something that moves this fast, you need to do a hell of an engineering job. Now, here are a few of the highlights. There are 10 radiators in there. At top whack, it inhales 60,000 litres of air a minute. There are five driving modes. There's lift, auto, autobahn, handling, and top speed. In everything bar top speed, your top speed is limited to 238 miles an hour. So, you know, pretty brisk anyway. The body is made of carbon fiber with little bits of aluminium in there. And the interior, well, it's just beautiful. There's no plastic in there. It's all the best materials money can buy. On the cool front, lift mode raises the car's ride height so you can drive it around town and not fear speed bumps. Bugatti says Chiron is more manageable than Veyron, and by that, the power delivery is a little more smooth, but at the same time still very, very savage. It is quicker than Veyron after all. Now, to do this, they have a two-stage turbo setup. Before the car's engine speed reaches 3,800 RPM, only two turbos are used. Then when you hit that magic number, all four kick in and, well, everything goes a bit nuts. That sounds kind of cool. To stop this thing, it has massive brakes, and they are so powerful, it'll get you from 62 to naught in just over 30 meters, from 124 to naught in 125 meters. They are immensely powerful. So this thing is basically a big old numbers car, but look at it. It's so pretty. It's inspired by Bugattis of old, most notably the Type 57. The exterior and the interior have a beautiful flow to the design, and the materials, the feel of it, are just fantastic. Now, the money bit. Bugatti says they're only going to make 500 of these, and they're 2.4 million euros each. But even before its launch at Geneva, they've sold a third of those 500. 